Hey everyone, it's Luke James Schaefer. Thank you for checking out my how-to video today. Today's video is going to be about how to record different length tracks over the same loop using the RC300 loop station. Ready? Here we go. The RC300 has a few different options here. You can set up specified measures. You can do something called a one shot where the loop will play one time and then end. But today we're gonna talk about something called loop sync. All right, so when you first plug in your RC300, all the tracks are gonna be set up in loop sync mode, which means that all the beginnings of the tracks will be aligned. 95% of the time when I'm playing live or doing YouTube covers, I use it this way. It's uh, just honestly the easiest and probably the best way to use it. So when would loop sync be needed? All right, here's an example. Say you have a song you love, say Dreams by Fleetwood Mac, okay? It's F and G, back and forth the whole song with cool bass line and some, some rhythm. But the chorus is uh, a lot longer than just those two chords back and forth, right? This is when turning loop sync off of one of your channels on the RC300 comes in very handy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to turn it on and then I'm gonna give you an example. Here we go. All right, so if you wanna turn on a loop sync mode or off, here's the tracks, right? So click edit. I'm, I'm just gonna do it on channel one here. So I click edit. Over here, it's uh, loop play mode. Just hit to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Loop sync right here is on. We wanna just do this and it's off, okay? Hit right and then hit right again. Loop sync mode is off for track one. Track two and three, it's still on. Um, I can show you, two, four, five, six, seven. Loop sync on, and then hit three, track three, loop sync on, okay? Uh, so exit out of that. So right now we have track two and track three are in loop sync mode. Track one is its own entity. It will start whenever you hit it. It won't line up with the other ones unless you're perfectly timed with your feet, okay? <laughs> So, let me give you an example of how this is uh, beneficial sometimes. All right, so, we're gonna start with track three. We're gonna just do down some, um, some acoustic. We're gonna stick with Dreams by Fleetwood. Okay, so it goes like this. So that's a really fast loop, right? And it's just going, and you don't have to like do a, a nine minute intro before the song starts. Add a little bass. Right, so if you want to add on track two, it's going to be synced up to track three. It goes like this. Just a little, uh, a little rhythm on top of it. It's super easy. And then, and you know in the song it has a... Alright, so... We have those two tracks, they're lined up. I only have those two chords going, right, for the tracks two and three. The rhythm and the chords. It's great, but that's the same chords you need for the chorus. So with the track one, this is the only thing you have to keep in mind. It's not gonna be lined up, it's not gonna sync with it, so you have to hit it perfectly, um, or else it'll sound like, uh, I'll show you after I record it, okay? So we get to the chorus here. All right, so I set up that loop and the whole chorus fits over top of those two chords on the loop sync. So as long as I did the timing right, everything should line up when I hit start all. So it'll go. Thunder only happens when it's raining. The thing with this though, don't hit it in the middle because it'll do this. Thunder only happens when it doesn't, it doesn't line up. Thunder only happens it does whatever it wants. So keep it safe. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. 
All right, so that's the usefulness of loop sync or turning loop sync off of one of your channels. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, please throw them in the comments. Do me a favor and hit subscribe and check back every Monday for new songs. Okay, bye. Thunder only has